First week of college and I'm already in my bag. Transition's gone smooth and I've already met some interesting new people. Rule number one, if you're gonna watch porn or Pokemon, headphones on. What's going on? I'm Marcus Scribner, star of Freeform's Grownish, and I'm here talking with the AV Club. All right, what makes Grownish special? Oh, I feel like I'm talking about a loved one. We talk about real world issues sort of in the same way that Blackish did, but more so appealing to an audience of my age. Um, there's sex, drugs, excitement, everything that I love in my entertainment. Um, <laughs> how is Grownish Jr. different from Blackish Jr.? He's not afraid to, to live the college lifestyle. He puts himself out there. Um, he's constantly dating. Junior of Blackish was very much a relationship guy. Junior and Gronish, one night stand guy. He's really, he's a, he's a different breed. I'm here to get in, get out, and get back into the real world. Oh my God. Where will the show go in season five? Better question, where won't the show go? Um, we talk about everything. He's pledging a frat. Um, he is having new sexual experiences, experimenting with drugs, like it, it's, it, gets a, it gets crazy in this season of Grunge. I feel like this is one of the raunchiest seasons yet, um, and it's funny coming from a character like Junior who is uh, normally so straight and narrow, but uh, he, lets, he lets loose for sure. What's your favorite TV series of all time? Probably The Boys. But here's my thing about that. The Boys, I was like an original Boys fan. Like before it was like popping and everybody was like, oh my God, The Boys season three is amazing. I was trying to convince everyone to watch it. And they were like, I don't watch off-brand TV shows. But now everybody's like, oh, The Boys is the best. And I was gonna dress up as A-Train last year. And now I feel like I can't because it's too popular. I'm having a whole dilemma. Ooh, just skipped a question. I feel like I'm back in school. All right, here we go. What video game are you playing right now? I'm always playing League of Legends. I'm an addict. I'm literally addicted. I don't have my PC currently at my apartment and I go to literally an internet cafe and play video games and eat pizza rolls. It's like, it's an addiction, it's an issue. What's your guilty pleasure song? I think my guilty pleasure song is Anything by Olivia Rodrigo. I really love Olivia Rodrigo, which I feel like people wouldn't expect because normally I listen to like trap music but she'd be going crazy. And yeah, I'm a big Olivia Rodrigo fan. I can't wait for another album. What was it like working with Michelle Obama? A dream come true, magical, insane, like something I'll never forget. Uh, what was crazy to me is how natural she was as an actress. She was, it was like Tracy and Anthony were riffing back and forth with her and she was just like in it, improving, just down for whatever. Uh, we were all nervous to talk to her. And we were just like sitting around waiting and she came up and she's like, what's up guys? Good to see you and all this kind of stuff. And it was, it was, she's, she's the best. So um, something I will never forget for sure. I'll tell my children about that. Biggest pet peeve. Oh my God, don't get me started. I hate people. Okay, hate's a strong word, Ugh. but I greatly dislike people who take forever to order. Um, I am a Yelper. I'm a serial Yelper. I know, sue me, takes the fun away, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I yelp. I'm gonna have a good time at a restaurant and I'm gonna know what I want and I'm gonna be ready to eat. Um, so people who look at a menu and like are into the size and they're like, oh, I don't know, there's so many good looking things. Like, you should have yelped it beforehand. This is your fault. Like, this is why we're in this situation. And as you can tell, I've lived through this experience multiple times. So, indecisive eaters. What is your favorite zoo animal? That is interesting. It can't just be like a, a normal animal. I really love leopards and I love orangutans. Um, I think they're the coolest animals. Like, orangutans are literally just humans, like, which makes it kind of sad that they're in a zoo, but like, they're pretty sick. I think it's super cool. And leopards, they're like, just dope. They're the best cats. How do you feel about Blackish's final season being snubbed by the Emmys? Here we go. Um, well, thankfully, we got nominated in the costume department. Shout out Michelle Cole. Um, and also in the hair department. Shout out to my barber, Stacy Cuts, holding it down, always keeping the hairline crispy, yerd. Um, but uh, I know Anthony will definitely tell you, he got snubbed, Tracy got snubbed. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's sad, but what are you gonna do? Here we are. Uh, at least we got some nominations. Uh, who's your favorite actor of all time? Leonardo DiCaprio. I think if I had to model my career after anybody, it would be Leonardo DiCaprio's career. So I'll say Leo. I actually just saw him. I was out at dinner um, and I saw him pull up and he was like wearing like a hat and glasses and nobody else noticed him. And he was eating dinner like across the room from me and I was just staring at him the whole time. 
Um, and I really wanted to ask him for a picture, but I was like, I'm not gonna interrupt the man while he's at dinner and do all these things, but one day I'm gonna work with you, Leo, and then I'm gonna tell you this story. Uh, what was it like working with Lawrence Fishburne? Absolutely legendary, I got some of the best advice I've ever gotten in my entire life. Lawrence told me to diversify and always continue to, um, to push. What was it like working? <laughs> oh, it's all good, it's all good. What's your favorite anime series? God, you guys ask good questions. Um, don't let me get started on Naruto. Nar Naruto, for everybody out there, I call it Naruto because like it's just easier for me to say. It's like my favorite anime series of all time. I want to get a Naruto tattoo. I want to get an Akatsuki cloud. Definitely Demon Slayer is up there and Tokyo Ghoul. There's like too many to count. I could literally just list animes for days. Um, thank you so much, AV Club. And you can check out Gronish on Freeform Wednesday nights at 10.